वेलकम बैक टुडे टॉपिक इज ग्राम पॉजिटिव बेसिला वी विल इंक्लूड मेनली कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम एंड बेसिला स्पीसीस फर्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ग्राम पॉजिटिव रोड्स कैन बी क्लासिफाइड ऑन स्पोर फॉर्मिंग एंड नॉन स्पोर फॉर्मिंग स्पोर फॉर्मिंग आर अगेन एरोबिक एंड एन एरोबिक एरोबिक इंक्लूड्स बेसिलस एंड एरोबिक इंक्लूड्स क्लोस्टेडियम एंड इन नॉन स्पोरिंग दे आर कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम वी आर कवरिंग ओनली बेसिलस एंड कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम इन दिस वीडियो कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम फर्स्ट दिस आर द मॉर्फोलॉजी दैट हेल्प इन डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम इन्फेक्शन दे आर कॉरोनी बैक्टेरियम आर ग्राम पॉजिटिव बेसिलाय क्लब शेप एंड बी डेड दे हैव मेटाक्रोमेटिक ग्रेन्यूल्स इन डायरेक्ट ग्राम स्मियर दे शोज चाइनीज लेटर पैटर्न दे आर नॉन मोटाइल नॉन स्पोर फॉर्मिंग नॉन कैप्सुलेटेड दे आर फैकल्टेटिव एंड एरोबिक they are catalyst positive oxidase negative then species of the coronary bacterium that are pathogenic and non pathogenic coronary bacterium first species is coronary bacterium diphtheria that is pathogenic one and non pathogenic that is common cell that all are called diphtheroids yeah this pathogenic coronary bacterium diphtheria is causing diphtheria and coronary bacterium diphtheria is the only pathogenic member of this genus all other are non pathogenic to as far as human are concerned this all are normal flora of respiratory tract urethra vagina and skin that is diphtheroids diphtheria it is a disease that is caused by coronary bacterium diphtheria it is an acute toxin mediated disease mainly affects children and uh, system affected is upper respiratory tract it is transmitted by droplet infection by airborne route it has 2 to 6 days of incubation period and mainly symptoms include sore throat and pharyngitis after 2 to 3 days there is development of bluish white adherent pseudo membrane usually on the pharynx posterior wall of the oropharynx mostly there causes respiratory obstruction due to extensive membrane formation after treatment there is recovery and if untreated it can lead to complication or even death if more toxin is absorbed into the system or circulation complication mainly includes myocarditis neuritis and palate perforation yeah this is the typical pseudo membrane formation over the pharynx pharyngeal wall this one diagnosis of diagnosis of diphtheria is mainly on clinical ground laboratory diagnosis is to confirm the clinical diagnosis specific treatment must be never delayed for laboratory results treatment started on the clinical ground only laboratory diagnosis is to confirm the clinical diagnosis other in other way we can have diagnosis of cases and diagnosis of carriers cases are mainly symptomatic patient and carrier are asymptomatic laboratory diagnosis first of all specimen collection we should collect two swabs from the lesion from the pseudo membrane from one we can do smear and staining and other for culture examination 
in smear we have to perform gram stain and albert stain as we have discussed they are pded gram positive green rods that is of albert stain in albert stain we can have beaded green rods chinese letter pattern and metachromatic granules in culture special media use are lofler serum agar potassium tellurate agar blood agar in lofler serum agar colony morphology are small circular white or creamy in potassium tellurate black colony are seen yeah this is the potassium tellurate agar showing black color of corona bacterium diphtheri this is the gram stain showing chinese letter pattern arrangement beaded appearance and metachromatic granules this blue large dot are metachromatic granules this is beaded appearance yeah special test include in vivo and in and in vitro test in vivo test we have subcutaneous test and intracutaneous test in vitro test we have allex gel precipitation test tissue culture elisa and pcr the main test to know about in diphtheria is allex gel precipitation test in this test we can we take one agar having serum incorporated in nutrient agar that is serum agar and we inoculate test organism coronibacterium diphtheri in a central line then we add one filter paper saturated with antitoxin diphtheria antitoxin after incubation we can see line of precipitation like this that indicates positive allex gel precipitation test treatment for coronibacterium diphtheria infection is penicillin erythromycin and in more toxin is uh, released and to prevent complication in delayed presentation of cases we can give antitoxin and prophylaxis we can give vaccines in the form of dpt triple vaccine that is diphtheria pertussis and tetanus now second species bacillus that is again gram positive rod they have central non bulging endospores they are non motile they have capsules they are mostly saprophytes they are aerobics they have catalase enzyme they are primarily found in soil there are two species that have medical importance in this species are bacillus anthracis and bacillus cirrus first is anthrax anthrax is the word that came from call call that is black colored matter anthrax is the primarily a disease of animal commonly found in farmers there is mainly three types of anthrax one is cutaneous cutaneous anthrax is caused by spore entered through skin and it causes black sore that is called as scar as we can see in this figure it is large black colored elevated margin and cutaneous anthrax is very less dangerous other is pulmonary anthrax that is caused by inhalation of spores that is also called pulmonary anthrax is also called as wool shorter's disease third one is gastrointestinal that is rare form of anthrax it is caused by ingestion of spores 
and it causes bloody diarrhea yeah this is the malignant pustule typical of anthrax on the back of neck black color for the laboratory diagnosis first is specimen collection we can collect swab from the lesion for cutaneous anthrax again fluid or pus discharge from the lesion sputum in case of pulmonary anthrax blood in case of complicated and uh, widespread disease feces in case of git involved and peritoneal fluid also collect in severe cases first of all microscopy in gram stain we can have chain of gpb that is gram positive bacilli resembling bamboo appearance bacilli arranged in chain that resembles bamboo then specific finding in this microscopy is macfadden reaction that is typical of anthrax for that we perform the smear with methylene blue stain and we can see amorphous purple material that represent the capsule of the bacilli on culture on nutrient agar it shows typical medusa head colony and has beaten egg white appearance on blood agar they do not emolize and uh, in gelatin culture they show inverted free tree appearance yeah, other test includes animal inoculation serology and polymerase chain reaction yeah this is the gram stain this is from direct specimen it is pus cells this is the bacilli arranged in chain looking like bamboo stick appearance it is from culture b is from culture showing central non bulging spores and bacilli are bacilli are arranged in typical bamboo stick chain appearance this is the gram stain yeah this is macfadden reaction typical bluish purple dots of capsule material yeah this is mac nutrient agar this is nutrient agar showing typical medusa head appearance of anthrax and this is gelatin culture showing inverted fierty appearance due to gelatin liquefaction for treatment we can give doxycycline broad spectrum antibiotic and fluoroquinolone that is ciprofloxacin and we can give antitoxin other species bacillus cereus that is not much harmful it is common airborne and dust borne infection usual method of disinfectant and antiseptic that we are using they are not affecting bacillus cereus and yes they are grown in food and spore survives even in even after cooking and repeated heating also ingestion of toxin containing food causes diarrhea vomiting abdominal cramps nausea and it is usually for 24 hour duration usually no treatment is required and it is self limiting it is more commonly found in immunosuppressed condition like drug induced or secondary to some infection like hiv aids like that Thank you a lot for watching this video and stay tuned with us.